And from Dave in Florida, my neighbor has a rental that has a dead tree leaning over toward my house, ready to take out my fence and roof. Wow. The, the neighbor lives out of state and I do not know them. What steps can I take to protect myself documentation wise if the worst happens? Take pictures and send a certified letter asking him to take it down. I'd love for him to do the right thing and pay to remove the tree himself, but I can't assume this would happen. So, uh, gosh, Dave, you were so on the right wavelength. You must document that the tree is dead or diseased, either condition. Because the way it works, uh, I think everywhere in America, is that if a tree appears to be healthy or is healthy, it's on your neighbor's property, storm knocks that tree down, you're responsible for the damage on your side of the property line, the neighbor's responsible for whatever damage on their side of the property line. On the other hand, if a tree is clearly visibly uh, diseased or dead, then the neighbor is liable because they've been negligent for the damage that occurs to your house that normally and your property that would normally be your problem. The key you've already stated is you've got to document that. So yes, you take pictures. They will be automatically time stamped on your phone. Yes, you send the certified letter to the to the address you think is the address for the owner of this, uh, this property who lives out of state absentee. Third, check with neighbors. You may have a neighbor near you who knows this individual. They may be a very nice, honorable person. You may be able to, with the neighbor's help, reach this individual because certified letter by its nature is never a friendly thing. It is an unfriendly communication. If you're going to engage an unfriendly communication, that should be after you have tried the other route. Failing to be able to contact this person, you absolutely send the certified letter because then not only do you have proof of the problem, you have proof that you have properly notified this individual, and then it's up to them if they're going to leave you in harm's way um, in your life and your safety and harm their wallet in the future because you will have given proper notice and you live in florida i see the insurers are under enormous financial pressure in the state of florida you have no idea what kind of coverage this individual has next door they may not be carrying insurance on the property if they own it mortgage free so everything you can do up front is really important to protect yourself your family and your wallet and your mindset is right to take these steps and document now.